In this chapter about the genesis of Jasper, we will talk about the origin of a very special kind of Jasper. It is called beef. Uh, beef is for banded iron formation. Is a formation of um, hematite or magnetite, widespread in all the continent. Very important for for uh, the mining operation, mm, looking for iron, and where this uh, iron is uh, banded and intercalated to a uh, red jasper. Um, in base of the uh, classification of jasper, based on its pre precursor, this kind of jasper mm, would be a chemical jasper because it is mainly formed by precipitation, direct precipitation but uh, mm, its position in uh, oceans, in the floor of oceans and its mm, lack of internal structure like chemical jasper uh, we put this in oceanic jasper mm, in reality oceanic jasper must to be of organogenic uh, origin uh, from opal, uh, amorphous opal from microfossil and uh, uh, this is not uh, really know about the beef formation but we try to look what they look and what they are so mm, the banded iron formation is a witness of a very uh, old history of the earth uh, when the atmosphere uh, was very different from actual uh, uh, oxygen rich atmosphere and was made mainly of a mixture of methane, uh, carbon dioxide and other poison. Uh, clearly uh, they are poison for us uh, today now but at this epoch uh, was just gases. Uh, in this epoch of the earth history the greenhouse effect was really very 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 strong uh, and uh, the ocean were um, very hot uh, and very uh, acid so the uh, acidity of this ocean uh, the water of the ocean was responsible for a very high con concentration of, of silica and also of iron dissolved in the water so more the temperature of water is high more uh, the uh, solubility of some material is added in the water so this water was very very rich in some uh, ion like silica and uh, iron ion and this water that actually we would call it very bad water uh, was uh, the primordial soup from which uh, the life is born so instead of to be a poison it, it was the, the beginning of the life um, the first uh, living being uh, was uh, some kind of bacteria and uh, because there was nothing more to it they eat uh, methane and the, the reduction of methane was uh, is kind of production of energy uh, also uh, the reduction of iron was possible um, the reduction of iron is uh, quite well known uh, uh, today at the, the Rio Tinto deposit in Spain where uh, Rio Tinto means uh, red river and this river is red because uh, the big amount of iron in the water because the river flow between uh, a very big huge pyrite deposit and uh, the, this water is rich in bacteria they eat uh, iron so uh, is it was very uh, deeply studied for uh, uh, to have an idea what happened in the very old uh, atmosphere in the first earth um, more later uh, other uh, bacteria invented the photosynthesis the process that uh, produce oxygen oxygen as a past uh, byproduct so they make chlorophyll and they use uh, sun energy for 
like the first vegetable. Um, at that time, there was no uh, organism able to metabolize uh, oxygen, so to break oxygen. So um, at this uh, epoch, the oxygen was a poison. So um, uh, this was the first production of o oxygen by uh, cyanobacteria. Uh, for the first uh, 1,700 million years, all the oxygen produced uh, go to oxidize the iron. It was deposited in the ocean floor with silica. So uh, the, the quantity of iron uh, dissolved in the water was so high that uh, mm, because the iron in water is Fe2, bivalent iron, and is soluble in water, but when uh, combined with, with oxygen, is uh, iron trivalent three, and it is not soluble. is a molecule that is heavy and uh, fall down in the ocean floor. So mm, uh, every mm, molecule of oxygen produced from cyanobacteria go to uh, oxidize iron. And the result of this oxidation was the beef, the banded iron formation. Uh, the age of the beef is between 3.5 and 1.5 billion years, and only in this epoch. So after 1.8 billion years, mm, no more beef are uh, formed. Uh, this why? Uh, this because uh, actually all the uh, iron was uh, com completely uh, used and oxidated. So it uh, has been calculated that the beef contains mm, at least 20 times the oxygen that is currently now, today, in the atmosphere. So uh, only when all the iron uh, oxidizes uh, mm, into the beef, only after this process, a normal uh, atmosphere starts to be uh, formed uh, with the uh, percentage of oxygen like the actual uh, atmosphere that is 21 percent so uh, at the end of the beef we can say that start to uh, form uh, in the earth an atmosphere similar to the actual one so this is uh, what look uh, uh, banded iron formation in this case uh, we can see the, the black bed are uh, magnetite, the red bed are uh, red jasper, and the yellow is an, another form of silica that is tiger eye. We, uh, this rock is called jaspilite, this is a mix of jasper and uh, magnetite, and this is the more famous for, for lapidary, and this uh, uh, from uh, the Amersley range in Western Australia. And this is a, a diagram um, of how the, the alternation of um, black lamina of hematite and the red lamina of jasper are formed. Uh, the lamina of hematite form when the um, cyanobacteria um, are uh, in, a, in a warm period if pro proliferation so uh, the iron is always uh, if an input from uh, submarine uh, fumarole in the dorsal uh, dorsal chain of the oceanic crust and uh, so uh, the, the input of iron ne never stop uh, but uh, what change is the input of oxygen so when there is a, a hot period, uh, we know that uh, bacteria mm, are very active around 25 degrees. This is very hot for ocean, but uh, with the greenhouse effect at this epoch was possible. So uh, cyanobacteria mm, have a very uh, mm, strong blossom, and uh, the production of oxygen go directly to oxidize the bivalent iron to make a trivalent iron. So uh, the mm, hematite 
uh, fall on the floor. Um, what happened uh, for the formation of uh, of Jasper? Uh, this is uh, probably the result of a, a cold period. So uh, if uh, the temperature of ocean fall down, the uh, the the big amount of silica in solution of water uh, become uh, oversaturated. So the ocean uh, is uh, have too much uh, silica in suspension for this temperature, and uh, silica uh, starts to fall down and uh, to precipitate to, to form a, a red uh, lamina. So uh, we know that the the perfect uh, temperature for the uh, the precipitation of silica is around five degrees. That is uh, a more normal temperature for ocean. So um, there is a modern theory about uh, all the glaciation that probably was uh, uh, formed in in a very old epoch, and uh, in this diagram we see the uh, uh, relation that there is between the, this glaciation, that is the blue uh, line, and the, uh, the main uh, beef deposit that are mm, in the grey area. So this is uh, the beginning of the herd history, this is today, and uh, we see mm, there is more or less a correlation between the uh, glaciation and the formation of beef. And this kind of glaciation is actually now just a theory, but it's a very important theory. It's called the snowball hurt when the mm, hurt was completely glaciated. So it was not uh, like uh, the early glaciation we know, with a kind of glaciation that interests all the planet. And uh, for that reason, the, the snowball hurt effect uh, is because from space uh, the the planet was not blue like today, but was uh, uh, white. So the we, we can understand now, because uh, this group is not a uh, real oceanic jasper, uh, but is uh, a chemical jasper, because it is formed by a direct precipitation. And uh, um, uh, the, the beginning of the, o the real oceanic jasper is very early, because the two groups that produce this kind of jasper, um, that are radilari uh, radilarians, develop only in Cambrian, 500 million years ago, and uh, the atoms much earlier, uh, much later, in Cretaceous, mm, 145 million years ago. So, uh, technically, uh, we are in a group of very special kind of uh, chemical jasper. Uh, this is the more precious variety of uh, the Amersley range uh, beef. It's called Maramamba and is very beautiful because it's a mix of red jasper, yellow jasper, green jasper. And there is a very uh, typical structure uh, like microdome uh, where the more hard hematite uh, lamina is. Uh, thinly broken uh, in uh, this shape that is like micro diapir that is formed because this underlying portion yellow is pushing up because of different of pressure and of plasticity so it's very interesting for this material and one of the more famous piece of marmamba never found is found by Glenn Archer, that is a uh, very famous uh, prospector in Australia, and this was uh, performed in slabs, polished slabs that are very, very aesthetic. And this is the aspect of the micro diapir. diapir. Uh, you can see the microfacturation of the uh, hematite, uh, magnetite bed, and there is uh, some kind of uh, silica pushing up in this 
point and in this point and some other silica pushing down in this in this point so this is uh, a process similar to uh, boudinage in uh, in uh, flint but uh, with the difference that hematite was early uh, hardened in the in the diagenesis. Uh, this is an another famous uh, piece of jasper, uh, a piece of beef, and this a uh, huge hill uh, about 400 meters in, in, in the middle of a town in Michigan, uh, in the town of Ispening. Ispeming. Uh, curiously, is the the street uh, that is behind this knob, just a knob is called just a street, it's just a curiosity. So this is the aspect of the beef of Michigan, I, this is a uh, typical jaspilit folded by the orogenesis and this uh, two billion years old, this also uh, an alternation of magnetite and jasper. This is another kind uh, of uh, jaspilite, in this case it's not folded but fracturated, it's from Wyoming and it's a copper mountain look at jasper. Uh, 